A Warhol in the bathroom and a dressing room modeled after Coco Chanel's in Paris, with room for all sorts of clothing, including the uniquely American staple Serena Altschul tells us about. So all kinds of experiments are happening There's, here. Yeah. At the Eureka Innovation Lab in San Francisco, testing is underway. But you won't find a white coat in this laboratory. So this is where an magic happens with the laser. Oh, wow. Here, you're more likely to find a pair of jeans. Oh my god, it's on fire. I mean, Levi's, to me, is kind of the birth of cool. Protecting that cool is the well, mission of Levi's it. design director, Paul yeah. O'Neill. There's so much work in progress. There's he considers himself a custodian of the company's many legendary styles. But this is how it all began. Including one superior fit. I mean, we tried to not to touch the 501 so much. Like from its beginnings in 1873, up until the late 1940s. All of the changes that happened were practical. This year, that iconic pair is celebrating 150 years. What's the difference between the 501 and some of the other models and jeans that you could try on and buy at Levi's? Well, it's always a straight blue jean. I mean, when we look at other fits, we've got like skinnies, flares, bell bottoms, you know, all bells and whistles, but the 501 always just remains. Very simple and classic. So it's not going to follow the trends, period. No, it's something you can rely on. Finding a reliable and durable pair of pants was the goal of businessman Levi Strauss and his tailor, Jacob Davis. This is an 1873 or 1874 model year. Levi's historian, Tracy Panic says those trusty pants weren't possible until Davis added a rivet, creating the modern-day blue jean. He came up with the idea of adding a little bit of metal in the pockets where your hands are going in and out, and to stop them from ripping, you add a little bit of that metal, and it stopped that. But why the number 501? It's a simply a lot number a simple way to keep records. 501 is the best, top of the line. Top of the line, but the 501 was made for everyday blue collar workers. At the time, they were called overalls because you'd pull them up over your clothes to have this protective outer garment. Nowadays, just about everyone has worn a pair of Levi's, from presidents to hippies to Hollywood. Hey, Johnny, what are you rebelling against? What do you got? They were even part of Steve Jobs' uniform. But we've got something unusual on his. Check out all the buttons. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. So he did that himself. He put in suspender buttons. Like, that's did. hilarious. Yeah. As for the most efficient way to break in a new pair of 501s, Paul O'Neill has the secret. You can sit in the bathtub in them. If you buy a pair of jeans that are the right size for you, but maybe a bit too long in the leg to allow the shrinkage, and if you sit in the tub, the jeans will mold to your body shape. So you'll truly get a unique pair of 501s. Tricks of the trade, I love it. Yeah.